you know, I really believe that there's a lot of people in our community that want to help, and there's places for everyone to help. You can, for example, if there would be dogs in boarding or something like that, like temporary, you can help um, help walking them. You can help out at adoption events with holding dogs and do something. You know, don't do nothing and say, "Well, I just can't do this." Well, no, you could do. You could volunteer. You can donate. You can do pictures. You can do videos. And then you can also share on Facebook um, and try to network the dog. Um, or the dogs that you like, or, or the organization, all the organization's dogs. Um, there, there are uh, plenty of things to do, and if you're creative, uh, you can come up with a lot of things to do. The worst thing to do is to do nothing. Um, and the longer people sit and just think about it, the reality is you're doing nothing. So get out there and at least take that first step and find your niche, and you know help out in whatever way you can. As soon, as soon as you start volunteering and become very involved, um, you will become the dog person. And people come to you and actually ask for, do you know any dog like this? I have a friend who is looking for a dog that is like this. And that is a very good way of recommending and, and knowing the dogs at the shelter or in the rescue organization and try to find them a good, a good match. Um, oh, oh. What? What do you want to go down and play? Do you think this is 